Okay, it may seem like we're regressing a bit here, but uh, this this problem, um, I think a number of us had some difficulties with. This is a problem from a previous problem set uh, where we had a marble, which was uh, projected off the table at, a, at one meter per second horizontally, and the question was how far from the table base does the marble land? First things first, we've sketched out the scenario. We need to add everything we know about this situation from the problem statement. We know that the marble height from the base of the table or from the, from the top of the table to the, to the floor is five meters. That was given. Uh, this, incidentally, is uh, the distance in the y direction. And we're going to call that negative because all our dimensions are taken from this point right here, the edge of the table. And going down from that point is negative. Going to the right is positive. We also know the initial velocity in the x direction is equal to one meter per second. It's given in a problem statement right above here and it's a positive because again it's going to the right. That also of course is the final velocity in the x direction and it happens to be the average velocity in the x direction because the, um, the velocity is, is constant uh, with uh, wind resistance and with the acceleration in the x direction being zero. There is no acceleration or deceleration in the x direction whatsoever. That velocity is constant throughout the flight. So we'll put a box around it. That's not going to change. We, uh, we know the initial velocity in the y direction is zero. In other words, all of velocity uh, when this marble is projected off the table is in the horizontal direction and it hasn't started to fall yet until it leaves the edge of the table. So that initial velocity in the y direction is zero. However, the acceleration in the y direction once it leaves the edge of the table is equal to g, which is equal to negative 9.8 meters per second squared. What else do we know? Well, we should label that the distance we're looking for is this d in the x direction, this displacement in the x direction, and we would know that that is going to be equal to the average velocity in the x direction times the time in flight. We have the average velocity in the x direction, and that is right above, so we, we know that we could plug that in. We have one meters per second times this time in flight, and all we need to do is find that time in flight, and we are good to go to solve this distance in the x direction from the base of the table. What else do we know? Well, we happen to know uh, of, of, the, of the several kinematic relationships. We know the distance in the y direction is equal to the initial velocity in the y direction times the time in flight plus one half a t squared. And this is the f acceleration in the y direction. Well, we can start plugging in some of these numbers. We have uh, well, right off the bat, we know the initial velocity in the uh, y direction is zero, so this entire term goes away. And we're left with distance in the y direction, which is equal, incidentally, to negative five meters, is equal to one half negative 9.8 times t squared. Incidentally, all the units are in meters, seconds, um, and as such, our final answer will come out in seconds. There's no need to do any conversions. We can solve this equation for t, and we get t is equal to the square root of 2 times negative 5 over a, which is equal to negative 9.8. The negatives cancel, and we so we don't have a problem of trying to take a square root of a negative number. And this time comes out to be, I believe, 1.02 seconds, just over one second. We can then plug this into this relationship and effectively get that the distance in the x direction, which is what we were looking for, is one meter per second times approximately one second. And so that distance from the base of the table is about one meter. And that's it. Uh, thank you very much for listening. If you have any questions, just let me know via a private thread or via a general discussion thread.